Om Asato Ma Sankamaya Amaso Ma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityor Ma Amrutanga Maya Om Shanti 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 Pranamacharya and over to you. Are you able to hear me? Yeah. Yes, Ajay. Ah, right. Okay. Hey, Raman, and hey, Ramchandra, Parangana. Hmm? Yeah, Ajay, whenever you want me to present, let me know, Ajay. I can, I can move to the slides. Can I Ah, din to the connect call, na? Ah, okay. Uh, just a minute, Ramaka. Sorry. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. It kills the other. 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 It And while while we are uh, while Acharya is connecting, maybe we can recap last week's material. So let me quickly share my let me quickly share my screen for a few minutes. Let's get started with what if somebody missed the intro? Let's discuss about. Mm. So usually these sessions are eight, eight unique sessions of two hour each. But for us, Acharya is compressing them, an average version, combining two at a, at a two in one sessions. And this was the guarantee Acharya said. You know, the last week was a memorable day uh, that we will remember in our life because of the transformation that it will bring in. Right? This is a course which solves the family and the national problems. And uh, all of us will get a chance. It, this is also a social platform to serve the other India and humanity. And, and uh, we will get all the additional knowledge, values, and skills. And moving forward, this is the model which depends on, this is called the Acharya Human Transformation Model. And like you see, here we have different dimensions, the seven different layers of our own Existence, oh, the physical existence, the mental, the intellectual, emotional, and the social and the spiritual. And here is where the connection happened, the national, which we can write it down as a, as a universal or a international, whatever you say. Where on a, on a physical level, it's all about the living. And on a mental level, it's all about the thinking. Deciding factor as far as intellectual is concerned and the bonding factor as far as the emotional layer is concerned. Yes. And the relating, relating between each one of us, the social factor, experiencing the deep, the fountain of our source on the spiritual level, as well as serving, that is doing the sa eva, the seva on a national or on a humanity level, right? Like we said, the Vasudeva Kutumbasana. With that, let's move further. So all these are the different dimensions that we had and <clears throat> the universal education uh, for humanity, right? Like we have all the 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 zoology and all the ologies. Right? Acharya was talking about where is the uh, universal sciences and uh, the, the importance of that which is not taught in in the schools, which is the real core of our existence. And then we talked about the different aspects. How are we spending our lifetime in different formats, different sectors of our life? So the self versus the job versus the family versus the society. all, And how giving back is being part of 
the ancharunas that we have and why we bodies uh, when our karma is not burnt so today we can let me actually mute Yeah, let us um okay i think let me mute for now and ultimately uh, the quote that really moved us uh, that day was about very simplified version of uh, of the purpose and uh, this really blew my mind of maximum happiness for maximum number of people for the maximum amount of time is is my religion uh, the the quotation from swami chinmayananda ji acharya chinmayananda ji um, so and the, and the fun part here looks like is when we connect to this purpose and be part of it interestingly the first person that is affected is ourselves i mean in this inner journey what my personal experience also has been that once we get committed or focus to contribute to this kind of vision which is larger than our own life then some mystical magical experience start to happen in our life because it is me who would start to be in the first place so learning the best way to learn is to teach and hello are you able to listen me yes sachary we are able to i was just going over the last uh, by the just to save time hello sachary you are able to hear hello. us sachary you are able to hear us hello ramakant are you able to listen me yes sachary hello hello yeah we are able to hear you actually are you able to see me and listen me yes acharya yes, i am not able to hear you any 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 maybe any you need to rejoin acharya maybe you need to rejoin. pardon repeat maybe you need to rejoin we can hear you acharya we can hear you aha uh-huh. volume increase cheyandi acharya maybe our volume okay, is low okay. hello are you able to listen me beta yes acharya we are able to hear you are you able to listen me yes <laughs> hello yes you are able to hear us acharya ha uh, are you able to see me also yes both are <laughs> right sorry for the delay uh, lots of uh, communication gap electronic gaps and so many things let who saw who understands the problems and uh, solves the situations uh, now to begin with uh last time we had a session on that we identified our self aap bado we are all interested in our own development and we are all whole human race is uh, uh i mean racing with the concept of development uh, of their own concepts whole of the world concepts here means developing in the education developing the money developing my own family and developing whatever blah 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 okay uh, out of all that developments we have last time understood those are all the developments that we are aspiring on the external worldly uh, universal plane but the real dimensions of the internal dimensions or the roots through which the tree develops or likewise the human developmental aspects are within our own self there we have gone through 
the as ramakant uh, mentioned acharya kalam model yeah, just you share it share that model ramakant are you all able to listen me and see me yes yes uh, i'm able to see, see you acharya let me share do we uh, want to go to the new pdf acharya or the last pdf we had that model do we no, want no 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 to... model no any one model any one yes, model. model acharya okay. kalams acharya sure, human sure. transformative model right Let me see you, Acharya. Please go ahead. All right, right, right. Okay, my dear friends, you have observed and we have discussed on each of that. Now, to begin today's second day session of this abridged ABDB session. Ah, sorry, Manchit. Well done. ABDB session. Uh, now, uh, the. human name and form with what you are seeing me and uh, uh, listening me as to individually you are your own name and form the whole of the world every every bit has got its own name and form everybody has got its own name and form but this name and form is working physical form physical body my body is working because of the mind and then intellect then emotions then it is a, it is a socially i am relating with all of you and it is the spirit ultimately which i am you are able to listen so these are all various dimensions so now to begin today's second session i i i want your review your own i mean uh, you have done you have taken it as an assignment of knowing your own self different dimensions so i will be very happy and it will be an inspiration for from one to another aap padho what are the aspects that you have understood in your assignment from last one week to till i will be very happy to listen to all of you ramakant and others you please spot the light on the speaker please go ahead all of you feel yeah. free this is all yeah, about sorry. our own self development up bodo various uh, internal dimensions what you have realized experienced please share two three any 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 of you take lead here i am very happy to have our alumni leaders also with us sin was gurupo and so many 10 Uh, why is he center friends also so acharya you are the is the question um the your own experiences that... your own experiences on while living from last one week to this week experiencing your inner dimensions that is the that is what you every, every one of you may talk yeah so i'll go first acharya so uh, one of the a uh, point that you pointed out was uh, the the quotation from chimman and ji about maximum happiness for maximum number of people for maximum number of time i think uh, that hit me very hard uh, as far as, as the spiritual layer let it be the experiential aspect where as as well as the serving and the national aspect. and wanted to uh, commit and own that statement in my own way uh good good okay others please two three others so friends for all others who are looking acharya is looking for let's say from last week till now after i mean when we have these seven or seven dimensions here acharya would like to get some feedback on any thought deep thought that you have experienced or have pondered over whatever your thoughts have been <clears throat> yeah i think i can maybe talk one aspect that i've been thinking of lately and i think as part of last week's session also i think uh, typically i think uh, from a spiritual plane level i always you know try to know 
you know, what is your dharma and then, you know, how you enable yourself to perform your dharma on your, you know, day-to-day -day activities and in this life. One thing that I have been thinking hard and trying to come to terms with internally is while that is considered a karma, right, uh, you know, the aspects of bhakti, right? So how does that karma transform into bhakti has been like a question for me. I mean, I, I can maybe sit a couple of hours together and then maybe chant something, but I could not, I mean, from my internal dimension standpoint, I, I'm still trying to figure out what is that connection, right? So where I'm doing a karma and then how does that translate into bhakti aspect you know that aspect of devotion so that that that's another dimension that i'm trying to explore these days so uh fantastic ravi i'm very happy to have it we will have it for the discussion at the end uh, I, I will be happy to have so that uh, one more feedback from any of you so that i understand where we are so that we sync with each other with our basic concepts of this abridged abdb for your special batch any one of you um, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry uh, guruji this is savita um, from canada um, i didn't have any self pondering week last week it was work was very busy um, and so it was um, how do you say uh, it was just a nine to five, nine to five kind of a week. So <laughs> do I do I have to feel that my week was wasted or like, you know, I didn't ponder or anything or like, how do like, I, I don't know, uh, those weeks, I, I do feel Oh, I didn't uh, focus on anything, but uh, still, uh, work got done, things got done. But uh, so there was no self pondering time. So what do you call those weeks? Like, what do you call those days? hours where you don't have uh, you, you just it goes in a monotonous way like you know get up do what needs to be done in front of you uh, they're okay I guess um, but still uh, you know especially when you hear from other people how they have uh, gone a little bit further in doing their sadhanas or whatever it is you feel oh am I have I been left out kind of a feel so what, what do you suggest for people who feel like that or or is it even necessary to feel like that? Yeah. That is the real pain. That is the real purpose of a whole of my I said, Ravi, there is a pause. Um, maybe the internet connection. <clears throat> in life and all of these acharyas, just like missions, we are all living and we are all racing with the time and the our own works. Okay. Anything, Ramakan? No, 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 yeah, there was a there was a little pause uh, for the internet connection. Please continue. Okay, okay, right. So Savita ji, you have rightly uh, the, the represented the whole of the humanity, which is running like a mission. Time and work, time and work, what wow, wow, work? These are all external parameters. But where from the work is going on? Where from I am talking? Where from you are listening? What are the other inner dimensions that are playing while we are working, while we are living, whatever time maybe uh, we are spending, whatever cause it may be. So these are all this model takes you into an experience of your own unique dimensions of each and each and every human being. So here, uh, so without loss of further time, I appeal to all of you, my dear friends, this session this abridged uh, version of the knowledge, what we are all sharing in these nine hours is, again, I am repeating, it is a basic, uh, ba ba Ramakad, you can remove this slide. Uh, you, this is the basic about my own self, my own self, kindly catch my inner, inner heart and feel what I am uh, doing my best to uh, sync with uh, all of us. Okay, so here in this nine hour session, each one of us are unique and each one of our dimensions are also unique. I, I mean, physical dimension, mental dimension, intellectual dimension, emotional dimension, social dimension, spiritual dimension, all these dimensions, each dimension for each individual also is unique. Okay, 
so here my appeal as my own self you each one of you are my own self you are not different from me so in this in this realization of real knowledge in the words of swami vivekananda's quotation manifest the divinity within by internal control or external control reading books rituals these are all secondary so taking this statement from there what is that manifestation manifestation and control of internal or external that is what i am attempting to share with all of you so there kindly now also from uh, till our end of our sessions also you please carry this is for you to understand your own dimensions you are unique creation unique part of the creation whole of the world okay in this the real science is the inner science the inner science the, the, the shares you are seeing me and hearing me this is only the physical part how i am able to talk this is my mental part and beyond mental it is my intellectual decision how i can connect how we can solve these technical problems or time zone problems or call or communication gap problems still connect with you as oneself within these different dimensions now i connect back with ravi ravi maradapu garu who mentioned that i am doing karma i am also doing bhakti but i want to understand what is that bhakti how that bhakti enacted so that that bhakti has got an inner heart where we say bhagwan lives in the heart so that heart component that emotional bhakti component while doing bhajan as a karma physical action is the karma while doing karma relating with your bhakti relating with your heart heartful emotion okay in that heartful emotion when you say hey krishna hey mukha hey sakha hey nara sakha hey madhusudana what happens there inside your heart melts into the greater deeper the emotion okay that is the it will take and connect you with your spirit atman okay and the, these dimensions these functions these internal uh, mechanisms connections these things if you are able to experience you are with me you are understanding what i am talking okay now before i to start today's session what i am appealing to all of you are we all in sync with the concept i want to have yes or any questions let us have it. please rama nidaya yes please feel free we are all one self only <laughs> right please acharya that was a that was a natural i mean people talk about elevator pitch so i think you have compressed the entire sadhana and the answer into few lines so what we will do is we will take your help in the coming weeks and months to expand okay. on this question because that is the question for the entire humanity honestly so we are not looking for a very quick tidbit because we want you to we want you to guide us through the small bricks and the small uh, baby steps to okay help expand this entire thing so with that back to you also so one thank one you, thought that i have thank you rama khan my god bless you thank you i am very much moved you how in nutshell you have put it right it is a continuous question my dear friends before starting the second question second day Guru. session this is a continuous question this is what if all of the human if uh, this batch each one of you understand from here this minute onwards till the next sessions these assignments are continuous these are assignments if you are able to understand now if you are if we are all able to sync with me this was the nine hours then it takes for whole your whole of the humanity with your help that is what i am aspiring by dear friends now coming back here acharya garu uh, acharya garu acharya garu yeah this ah. is sir feeling The, ah, the as everybody as everybody said you know sometimes it's difficult to compartmentalize what is your sadhana what is your 9 to 5 job and this stuff 
only when we can integrate everything into as a sadhana or the bhakti or you know the thing is what we do is when we go to work we treat that as work when we meditation we call that as a sadhana or the self thing how can we see the self in that same divine in everything that we do as one so that our work also doesn't look like a mechanic it looks like a sadhana good good sene very good question here i appeal to all of you first of all the basic thing requirement the basic requirement is knowing who we are knowing each dimension of our own self just like you are saying me this is only the physical form but this physical form is able to communicate talk with you with my mental uh, faculty which i can i am not able to see you are not able to see so this you you all agree and understand this that it is happening through mind and again beyond mind it is another intellectual faculty with which we will be taking decisions okay mind cannot take decisions this is another faculty if by means of your own experience understanding the different dimension of the intellect of your own self then you you will be experiencing how oh, consciously i am taking this decision then you will be understanding your own inner dimension of the intellect similarly as ravi marapu mentioned when your heart melts with the deeper meaning and bhava of the bhajan with which you are singing there you connect with your emotion you are tears are coming out of your ecstasy okay there you are connecting with the emotional component of your own inner dimension so here wa and beyond that when it connects with the uh, with your own uh, the spirit or the soul or whatever you connect then there is an exuberance there is a blissful satchidananda ananda itself you will be experiencing it so here my appeal to all of you is focus focus on knowing your own dimensions internal dimensions you as a human scientist you need to understand all of them i appeal to all of you forget all the jargons karma bhakti gnana all other what swami vivekananda sold uh, uh, by controlling internal or external uh, faculties these are all whatever we have been hearing put it aside for a minute you focus on your own self your own inner dimensions how each one is functioning in its own independent way and connecting with each other so these these are the mechanisms these are the secrets of the uh, that human being alone can understand this in this golden planet no other creatures on this planet can understand this and even among the humanity it is not the karmis cannot understand bhag devotional bhakti people also cannot understand we do not we cannot go by means of our religions and all other things all those things will help us everything will help us ultimately making you guiding you to understand your dimensions inner dimensions everything every sadhana every preaching every religion everything it ultimately the human being until and unless connects with that and uh, understands what is the uh, inner thing happening inner experience in thing happening by means of uh, this bhajan by means of this devotion what is happening in by inside me how tears are coming when tears are coming how my heart is connecting with the my soul these things we have to individually as a unique part of the creations uniquely you only can understand my dear friends so here uh, so as suvita uh, suvita ji mentioned or srini gurup garu mentioned it is not 9 to 5 work uh, and in the during the work uh, what is happening you should be conscious 
you should be conscious of what you are doing where how your mind is playing there in the work also where how your intellect is playing in the work also how your emotions are playing with the work also how the spirit is playing with the work also that is where your real uh, sadhana comes into your own understanding of your own experiential living of different dimensions living with different dimensions in your own self sreeni ji have i thrown some light or made some attempt to for uh, clarifying uh, how it works in 9 uh, to 5 office work or any work could i uh, throw some light make you some sort of uh, uh, i mean Mm, where we all can sink i want you are yeah, uh, uh, sorry yeah, go ahead please ah. go ahead. please please sabita gar please continue uh yeah uh, yes acharya uh, uh, yes i think you did throw light uh, okay. knowing all these things being in hmm. harmony with everything we do is the struggle it's a tug of war hmm. um like you know <laughs> we read a lot we know a lot uh, application uh, when it comes to becomes difficult adhering to practices becomes difficult uh, so to bring that harmony i guess is just a uh, keep on aligning i guess i think you did bring um, bring attention to the question i asked thank you okay. thank you swamita ji may god bless you you are a blessed soul beta may god bless you srini ji can you throw some light whether we are in sync please yeah, ask course. me let us let us discuss no way it will help all others also we are completely in sync and as savita garu said ah. Ah. knowing that it is a continuous practice is a continuous to be in harmony with every situation everything that we do to be anchored in the self is a is a struggle but it's a practice it's a sadhana okay. and uh, savita garu summarize it very well thank you acharya pranam acharya okay. pranam beta my pranam my dear friends the whole the 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 agony the complaint the the the, the passion is for uh, making this open to the whole of the humanity the whole of the humanity is being uh, guided with uh, with its with individual masters those who are governing those who are attracted are with the religions are with the organizations are ultimately catching tidbits from here and there and applying and living with those sort of uh, uh, dogmatic jargons karma bhakti gnana or uh, whatever blah 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 but from them they are all true they are all true i will come back they are all true but from them you as a unique individual need to have the inner dimensional uh, conscious living physical conscious living mental conscious living intellectual conscious living emotional conscious living spiritual conscious living social conscious living okay so that is where your life will be an enlightened empowered life okay with this uh, now with all of your permission i am sure you are able to catch my in depth uh, dimensions uh, and we will move forward you are all my own self any time you are connected with me you can ask me any question i am open to answer any time any question now uh, now i am not able to give you a slide which for various technical reasons we could not prepare one slide just wherever you are you take a pen or paper or you mentally also you can make your mind as a paper and come along with me right so now uh, what is your um, uh, educational knowledge that each one of you have possessed it is my question to each one of you participants you can what is your educational knowledge that you are carrying now at this point of time what is your educational knowledge that you are carrying at this point of time 
So the degrees, right. if you are asking as a each educational no, qualification, not the degrees. educational qualification. Everything. Yeah, Some yeah. Part. Degrees are yeah. there. Along yep. with the degrees, the knowledge that you are possessing, each one of you are possessing. Yeah. Okay. Right. Without taking much, uh, slide is not there. Let us make our mind itself as a time and be in sync with me. Draw a line. Draw a circle. And there, you are there in the center. And around you, within that orbit, you are writing your own education, whatever your PhD, whatever your MS, blah, blah, blah. And the dash knowledge. That is how much you are drawing a circle there. So that means that is the amount of knowledge that you are possessing, right? Next, what is your family with this knowledge? What you are doing? You are earning money. How much money you have got? So much money I have got, right? Now, so much money means that is again a limitation. Again a, a circle. Wealth circle, right? Then next circle you write, if I ask you, what is your family? You define my, myself, my, my dear wife, my dear children, my dear mother, father, and uh, maybe blah, blah, blah etc again you, you this is all your your uh, mind carrying family what is your family means that is one another orbit right and uh, what is that you can do for your family i can do this much that is another circle you are drawing what is that you can uh, what is your society where you are living Oh, my friends, my relatives, how many? This many. What is your society? Again, this much is society. Okay. Again, one other circle. Right? And to all of these things, what is that you are you can give back? Oh, what is that? Where is the time, sir? My time is whole spent all this. Maybe weekends. Or I give some cha charity, some, some so many dollars, etc. Again, you are drawing another circle another circle. Like that, if we can go on and on and uh, draw our own cycles around our own head, our own that is mind, my dear friends. Okay. Now, intellectually, now you come back into intellectual plane. You look back into yourself with your mind, uh, what sort of knowledge you have drawn? You, you have drawn, you have limited your knowledge drawing one line. Right? Okay, is it true? Can you, can, is your mind, can I have only that much uh, knowledge? No. Mind also is like a soul, it is infinite part. You can do anything and everything. All powers are within you. What does it mean? We all study in so many big, big books, etc. When it comes into the reality, you are drawing your own line. Is that line correct? That is my question. Is your knowledge, what you have mentioned, what line you have drawn, is it true or false? I'm leaving it here as a question. Right, or please, somebody is talking. Yes. Yeah, so th that line, uh, what I think is the line is what I'm drawing. Ah. That is your thinking, your limitation. Can I mention Ramaka? Yes, sir. sir. My my perspective, my glasses, ah. my colored, my colored perspective. Ah. Good, good. Suppose since you have realized that it is your own limitation, your own draw perception, your own line, and you also understood that it is false. Because it is your mental perception with limited mental perception, okay, that uh, you have limited yourself. The infinite power that is inside you, all powers are inside you. You have read in so many books. When it comes into the reality, you have drawn a line. Now, my appeal to you, once if you realize, if you uh, align with uh, your own soul, the infinity inside you, then you will be doing sadhana to limit and realize your knowledge is infinite. 
that means your mind becomes open your mind becomes open to learn whatever it comes in your way and how etc we will be coming in the down the line in the next classes so also what is that you can do i can do this much this is all is my time available this is all is my talent available this is all is my treasure available for all that you are drawing your own lines my dear friends you are drawing your own lines with your own perceptions again is it correct or wrong think i am giving you time time this all you take it as a next assignment okay now you think what is that you can do i can do anything and everything what does it mean nothing is impossible what does it mean okay think of it think of it i am an individual like you at the age of 32 years thought of this bala bharati okay and making men and building the nation now 18 lakhs people transform now 20 crores of people now the road map by 2025 i am in front of you a single gentleman okay so what is that i can do sai ganga mahadev guru ji mentioned you give charge to acharya ji he will rule entire country these are all certain examples i am telling you my dear friends you are all myself only you are all my children myself these are all i am only appealing to you these lines whatever we are do we are drawing are the lines of our perceptions and these perception levels are creating our own karmas in your language i am now twisting it is all doing into karmas and the karmas are building up our own janmas understand karmas are building up our own janmas and another way we want beyond janmas i don't want janma i want liberation how can it be there is a controversy within yourself within your own knowingly or unknowingly you are creating your own perceptional lines which is which all creating your own fate and fate creates your own janma punarabhi janmam punarabhi maranam so what is that you can understand at this point of time understand your line is your perception your perception is your limitation thereby your karma whatever you are doing you are drawing you are with your own limitations come out of that think think if you the, uh, the remove that line what happens you see 360 degrees we are all you are all engineer 360 degrees everything whole universe is open to you infinity is open to you that is why swami vivekananda said you can do anything and everything all powers are within you why are you doubting yourself he questions that is the meaning my dear friends okay and this you can take it as an assignment for this nine hours as a abridged abdp or you can take it for lifetime lifetime understanding your own perceptions understanding lines of drawing creating your own karma your own fate no ूनिवर्सल क्रिएटर यू आर यूनिक पार्ट ऑफ द क्रिएटर मै डियर फ्रेंड okay so if you can be one with that creator then you are 360 degrees are your own degrees other than that it is only i am very very sorry it is only our own perceptions our own lines i wish you all the best as a servant of all of you as a friend of all of you i am living in that 
experiential living what i am sharing for the whole human transformation catch me come with me all of us together share our unique experiential dimensional physical mental intellectual dimensions dimensional experiences to the humanity that is what is human transformative model i am aspiring on each one of you the listeners because you only can understand how i can go and uh, go out and tell you th these many number of people have come so you are my dear ones come and catch with me live with this sort of assignments now starting with the today's session <laughs> again my dear friends uh, start ramakan ice breaking ramakan ice breaking beta uh, yeah i will share my... the document i have the pdf i'll share the screen one second yeah 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 in the meantime without wasting time any of you can ask me any questions what is this you are talking are you listening to from uh, with all due respects to so many great swami ji so many great uh, uh, spiritual or social or other organizations or the religions understand how is the unique uh, grace of god on this uh, this uh, uh, lead india in this uh, on this model ಅಬೌಟ್ <laughs> 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 exactly exactly by the end of the uh, this session you will have that answer also now you keep that question and keep uh, experimenting and experiencing on your own question answer will come through you only srini it is right and at the end of the last session we are going to have on the spirituality there we will have a detailed discussion on this okay till then you are the right question and you can keep on experimenting and experiencing and come back with your own experiences stay okay thank you okay thank you righto now we are entering into the second day's session my dear friends uh, every game will have its own rules okay without rules it will be a anarchy okay likewise uh, any program or any nation or anything so here the game of the rule uh, here this ab ability the abdp rules for all of you also to practice for the next uh, uh, till next uh, session completes is now i am going to prescribe certain rules for you to practice 24 hours by 7 till 27th march till 27th march today we are on uh, say 19th uh, and 20th or something like that so till 27th march i am going to prescribe few ice breaking rules for your own self enlightenment and experimentation ultimately experiencing these dimensions physical mental intellectual through some of the activities i am going to share are you all with me are you all prepared to follow these rules do you give me assurance please yes sir chair yes i am hearing only one one two i want answers from all if it is a physical uh, training i will not allow unless and until each participant gives me guarantee that i am with you i will follow the rules yes sir right. you follow good 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 yeah. others yes, sir, please sir. yes please good it is for yes, your sir. own self my dear friend you are going to have a unique experiential sessions right next anything anybody else right okay okay come back now thank you thank you each one of you may god bless you yes srika the ramakant come come along with me fast we will move on next okay. ah here is a small exercise you have to participate till 27th you should keep on smiling your face should be like me you must be observing if i am not smiling you can catch your uh, the alumni friends knows me i am known for smiling and this smiling has become a national movement my dear friends out of 18 lakhs people most of the people will call me acharya i am carrying your smiling in my life 
so also now you take this smile to solve your own problems negative problems particularly i have guaranteed you that uh, uh, this program will solve all your personal family organizational uh, etc so for that this smile is one small sort of a technique you experiment it you analyze it what happens and another thing is in the human being is the kama krodha lobha moha madamatsaryas are the real inner enemies so krodha anger is another enemy okay so experiment when you get anger you smile it you smile it when you get anger you smile it when you get negative thoughts you smile it okay do these experiments etc and keep smiling face and you will see the ultimate experience you will be having it okay and here i share with you your, your uh, srika the ramaka you show you so focus uh, spotlight on me yes sir. spotlight on me right good i am going to give you a small sort of a tip how you can experiment to smile throughout 24 by 7 till 27 uh, 27 you i am going to give you a small sort of a tip all of you follow me okay uh, just you keep a smiling face shuklam baradaram vishnum sesivarnam chaturbhujam prasanna vadanam dhyaye prasanna vadanam keep like me a smiling face okay in this smiling one technique you keep it how to keep it smiling face all through is widen your lips like this widen your lips mm okay just widen your lips now in this widening your lip can you get anger you test it now widen your lips and uh, test it whether can you get uh, uh, boring out of this session or anger on me what is this old man is taking all of our time come on do it or get back you to your uh, teasing problem widen your lips mm can you get it okay okay it is not possible so widen your lips keep prasanna vadanam and uh, experience all problems will be solved all anger will be solved or kama krodha lobha moha madamatsaryas will be solved a great uh, research has been done on this i am giving you ready made tip right next please next ramaka ah uh, keep your mind open my dear friends whatever we know it is all limited you have drawn one circle like this no you have understood okay so b tech what they know m tech they know something tsunami they know something but beyond tsunami what is that we don't know lot of things so there is a block spot and to know that the block spot always knowledge is unlimited so we have to keep our mind open so this is another assignment throughout this week you keep your mind open whatever happen in your family or organization keep it with open mind keep listening and smiling right next time next fast this is another second assignment third assignment my dear friends be truthful see the magic of truth see the magic of effect of truth uh, satyam eva jayate how it will happen okay you experience on this right amma next nana third principle rule then be positive and participate 100% till 27th whatever where the situation be positive be positive no negative at all then 100% participate in all your activities right next amma next beta fast nana ah uh, encourage self and others also and wherever possible you can do clapping and whatever way okay keep encouraging yourself and others these are five rules i am just requesting all of you they appeal to be small things but they have got dimensional effect means it will affect your physical body it will affect your mind it will affect all emotions it will affect all other dimensions beta so these are all experiments have gone in 40 years of my research and given it into a tidbits five rules for you to experience 47 year the five rules right next amma now i have got a question 
I got a question to you. What is the single factor for your success and happiness? Like an axle to a wheel. Whether it is single factor, you want success in your career, you want success in your social life, success in your family, success in your uh, personality, success in your all financials, everything you want success. But for all that success, there is a single factor. You all want to be happy. And to be happy always, there is one single factor. I want to know from each one of you, what is that single factor gives you success and happiness? I want participation here. Each one of you are great intellectuals living in the great golden land of opportunities in America. Please share with me. What a single factor for all these things. Please feel it is an axle to the wheel. I want to answer. I will be very happy to hear from all of you. We are all very limited. Right, please. Come on, start off. Uh, I'll go Guruji first. Um, yeah, I, I feel like I can define sometimes. Sometimes I feel I can't define sometimes. So I would say some kind of Shakti or some kind of thing which manifests in many uh, and brings results um, in different areas. So what is one thing in me that is where sometimes I'm able to pinpoint, uh, sometimes I'm not. Um, and okay. so that would be okay. my answer. So, right. Uh, single means only one word. All of, I request all of you to tell directly. So Savita Madam is not able to define that single uh, word. Uh, chance to others. Others be ready, right. please. Uh, to save time. Spirituality, Swami. Uh, what is that? Spirituality. Oh, spirituality. Fantastic. Very good. Very good. Next, please. Spirituality. Okay. Right. After I. I. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you elaborate, uh, my dear friend? It has got very, very <laughs> uh, uh, excellent uh, relation. Yeah, the I is not the ego, but the I is, it's, it's, it's what all the, my, everything that I have, that I, the source of uh, perhaps what Savita Ji was referring to, it's, is that, and, and, and of course, and I don't want to go into my intellectual kind of ability, but that's the only person that is responsible for the success is, is me in that situation, in, in what I do in alignment that, that results. When I'm in harmony with whatever I'm pursuing, that results in success. So, Sriniji, uh, do you mean your soul or whatever you say? That, that infinite, that divine that manifests, he expresses okay. to you to get that. That I is the, the, the force within. Fantastic. Fantastic. Excellent. Let us all clap him. Right. Next one, please. Faster. Everybody. Single factor for success and happiness. Somebody told spirituality, somebody infinity, somebody uh, not able to define like that. What each one of you, this is very relevant, okay. please, for today's session. Okay, uh, I'll go next. So, for me, uh, being like a child in a lot of situations and not attaching a value, <laughs> uh, value to the material things. In, in one word, yeah, be childlike, you know, that is. So be childlike, right, fantastic. Let us take it, right, next, very good, very good, next. Everybody, please. I'll go next, Guruji. Being yeah. independent and confident uh, makes me very happy. Uh, to be very precise, uh, that's what I would say. Yeah. Right, oh. again, daringly, I want to decline all of your answers are wrong. So that you, all of you can think and come back. <laughs> Don't think you're <laughs> wrong with me. <laughs> it is a challenge. Come on, right? Next, others. No expectations. <laughs> Good. Last two chances. Detachment. Uh huh. No. Yeah. No. No attachment. <laughs> Good. Again, again. What to do? What to do? Yeah, I'm not getting correct answers. Please, with all due respects. 
Samya ma. Samya ma. Right, you are bringing Patanjali into the question. Right, okay. Right, uh, next please. Others who are silent, no. Knowing the truth. Knowing the truth. Oh, oh, good, good, good. Others who are who have not at all. Sini Busredi. Dear friend, come on, come out. Hello, many friends. We are all few people. Never mind. Okay, maybe this is not American style. I am uh, progressing. I correct myself. Proceed, right, my dear friends. Ah, uh, each and every element of what you have told, if that single factor, if you realize, if I am hale and healthy, I can talk at this age, and uh, you can listen at your age. Whatever your career, whatever your social, whatever your financial, all that you will be able to earn, do, enjoy, success and happiness is the basic element is health. Do you all agree? If health is not yes, good, yes, yes. the spirituality or the expectation or whatever you have told, can it happen? Just think once. Think once. Can it happen? No. No. That's uh, right. Guru, uh, sorry. Right. 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 That one, I sometimes, yeah. you know, may not agree. And the, and the reason in my experience, right? Somebody uh, could uh. be, you know, cancer, like, you know, Paramahamsa got a cancer or some of the stuff, but it doesn't really change the perception of the, the joy or the success. So in other words, why should health be a, a pursuit it's ah, we should yeah, help with, with, with wherever we are, whatever the condition that we are. Uh, Srini, uh, because of time I'm uh, sharing, uh, whatever we are talking in general is only in general. So cancer, we will talk that also at the end, later. Okay, in general, you tell me. What are all the factors, what you have told? Does it roll around? The fitness, the health right. component, okay, which will rule, which will give success and happiness to all of that. Just keep thinking about that. Right, as Ramakan, go to the next slide. Ramakan, next slide, beta. Ah, yes, the single unifactor plays a major role, like axle to the wheel in our lives, is health. The Healthy individual, be it a student, a job holder, employer, professional, businessman, can be happy, can do their own profession only when they enjoy good health. Okay? That good health is like a oasis in our life. Right, Ma? Next, Nana. Give, be fast. Next, Nana. So, here is uh, ancient Veda. Vedic quotation, Dharmartha Kama Moksha Nam, Arogyam Moolam Uttamam. For Dharma, again, for doing Dharma of any career, any finance, any family, whatever. Okay, for doing that Dharma or fulfilling your desires, all uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, finance or seeking Moksha, spirituality also, the Arogyam health is moolam fundamental. And that is ultimate uttamam also. So to practice righteousness, to earn money, to achieve our desires for our spiritual salvation, for anything for all of the humanity, it is the health. That is what uh, the, the, the Vedic prescription says. Right, next beta. Even our... Uh, World Health Organization also, next Nana, World Health Organization also has given definition, the complete physical, mental, intellectual, social, financial, moral, and ethical well-being of an individual is called health. That is World Health Organization says, right? Next beta. 
next uh, okay ah uh, here i share with all of you the whole health of the universe for human being as well as for all living beings all for that matter non living things also the whole universe is made up of or no no please so human beings are made up of pancha bhutas pancha bhuta prithvi prithvi jal agni aka the, the vayu akash these five elements with which our human body is made please can you tell me any of you other than human body also in the whole of the universe anything that is not made up of panchabhutas i want answers from you our human body is made up of panchabhutas i am asking you beyond our human body is there anything that you can single thing quote out of the universe that this thing is not made up of panchabhutas one minute for all of you to think and answer any answer please oh, sir, yeah. yes please so the shunya yes please question i am repeating the whole human not only whole human being who oh, oh, anyway whole human body is run born with panchabhutas living with panchabhutas we go into the panchabhutas right and uh, uh, beyond a human being also another extra question because you are all intellectuals is there any single thing single living being which is not composed of panchabhutas tell me one thing the the nothing the no thing <laughs> right good so my dear friends cutting short time everything in whole of the universe is made up of panchabhutas including all of the living beings and the human beings i i close down this slide and the knowledge that it is only the human beings that they can understand the composition of my own self physical body consciousness should have the consciousness of the panchabhutas present in me living in me that is why narottam is doing agni hotram that is one of the prescription while doing agni hotram pancha shuddhi kriyas we should know in this human life to liberate ourselves so with this extra knowledge i am moving to the next slide you come back with any questions any time now here we are now i am at the age of 73 plus now each one of you have passed through your own ages what does it mean what is this panchabhutas or maya or universe is playing with our development cycle say zero date of birth our date of birth zero when we grown up to 8 years you imagine the teeth what we are now having we got it at the age of 7 or 8 1 year this side of that side okay then 8 plus 8 16 at that age we got uh, male and female distinctions 16 16 plus 8 to 24 at that is the crucial age with which we should be conscious and uh, awaken the individuals youth particularly that this is the 24 years age where you can grow your height chest muscles nerve nerves immunity so the complete individual is made at the age of 24 8 16 24 for every 8 years there is a hormonal change throughout our life now 24 plus 24 48 years okay this is the middle age that is the development cycle this is the maintenance cycle where till 48 you will be hale and healthy no diseases will come but today indian stat six even the us also four out of 10 are diabetics or bp or some problems we will come to that why all that what is happening okay there is something we will come back to that 
we will discuss and that's okay. next cycle is a declining cycle 48 onwards gray hair wrinkles the eyes notices ears all these declining cycle so what is the average age of now today india or the universe say it is around 68 years now now i am 73 i am living in a bonus period so this is ill is the declining period okay my dear friends this development cycle is one conscious physical body conscious in your living you and your own family members should have this development cycle uh knowledge you know in our physical being conscious living right next ma acharya garu acharya garu ama yes please I, i really love the definition of the world health organization where the health is the holistic well being it's not just one dimension but the holistic well being and uh, something that i would want um, in in our uh, ayurveda or in our scriptures health is defined as swastha it means ah. you know swastha you know somebody who is like you know fully established within the self that means ah. you know is harmony how do you look at that definition of the health which is not necessarily about the just the physical but wherever you are how wherever you are in the swastha where you are fully established within yourself how do we yeah. is it very similar to the world health organization definition We, we can integrate that is what it is this is all the expansion of our, our own sadhana experience and then integrate and give it to the humanity that is what is the purpose you are right similarly there are so many theories so many experiences i will come back to that see uh, the, the, the if you take chinese they will have this if you take japanese they will have something the if you take arabs they will have something like that this is all uh, the the real experiential sadhana knowledge we have to gain and integrate uh, my dear sene okay. Hmm. Hmm. okay please continue yeah right okay now there are basic factors my dear friends what goes on inside every day every hour every minute that is a great universal creator's gift uh, gift to the humanity this physical body what we are enjoying today dharmartha kama moksha na moolam uttamam that we should have know the facts how it is living okay with this you are all intellectuals i am not going into the uh, textual uh, statistical data okay this you keep it in your physical your physical consciousness that inside every second there is some lot of things are happening are you experiencing that that is my question we will come back if you experience we will come back uh, how you should uh, 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 make yourself a very very healthy life till the last breath i will come back right next ah uh, so then how body sustains okay uh, here i want to we all eat and drink and do blah blah with all this physical consciously we do that but with what we are sustaining in the life physical body how is it sustaining without which we cannot live for a minute can you give me answer we cannot live without one single thing whole of the humanity all the living beings also for a single for breath. few minutes breath. we cannot live breath. what is that sustaining breath. factor breath breath good fantastic we cannot live without taking something for few days what is that without drinking we cannot sustain for few days water good without uh, taking something for few weeks we cannot live what is that food 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 yeah. <laughs> good fantastic very intellectual group i have got ramakant go ahead next so these are all six principles of keeping yourself hale and healthy okay six principles please this lifelong if you can remember and live with this six principles with the physical consciousness you can enjoy your success and happiness every element is very important element okay right go ahead next amma 
fast nana okay this principle of air very fundamental okay as much as air you take it so much oxygen you can take it so healthily energy you can enjoy similarly it is jala water okay we are using this water for external cleansing but not for internal cleansing that is where our yoga prescribes jalanati kriya right next it is anna yada annam tada manaha yada annam tada shariram okay the annam what you are taking pizzas burgers and all that is enabling usa statistics 70% of the usa people are having on drugs something like that uh, somewhere i have read it i may be right or wrong i know don't know you are the people okay so anna is the fundamental factor and then it is visarjana okay a lot of uh, more than 40 50% people are having constipation problem okay and that is the fundamental element to live healthily and it, it is uh, sleep and rest is another very important most of the people today we are listening they are not having sleep why and what is the impact of all these imbalances though yeah every imbalance will be causing you some sort of problem inside okay i need not tell you i need not elaborate on that right next time let's go forward now here what is that we can learn from the nature if we if you take a a, a, a dog it will be inhaling and exhaling 50 to 80 times per minute and its average age is 13 years 13 to 15 years similarly horse it breathes 30 to 40 times per minute and its age is 25 years elephant 15 to 20 times per minute it breathes and its age is 50 years and human beings 10 to 12 times we breathe and we live about 100 years but now today it has gone down because breathing because of tensions uh, what happens breathing changes because of anxieties because of worries they, 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 there is a degradation there is a degradation in the age also a tortoise five to eight times it takes it lives for 200 years so what is the relevance here we understand now i need not ask you questions you all know it is all breathing breathe long live long breathe long live long this is one experiment you do it for this uh, the, this one week okay one experiment i am giving you assignment breathe long how you can expand your breathing inhalation and exhalation see its impact till 27 right next beta next tana right similarly good food habits this all you you are the best people in the world you have got this conscious a uh, good food habits right ma next nana uh, principle of uh, vyayam exercise again hats off to america and uh, all the people they have got excellent uh, 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 excellent uh, physical consciousness they do lot of exercise hats off i need not have to elaborate i want all of you to share your experiences to our indian brothers and africans and others okay right ma next nana okay right okay so these are all uh, now i am giving you another dimension for our physical health and uh, diseases please this is a new dimension of 40 years of research carried in the acharya kalam human transformation model it has not come out to mainly in many places in many other theories so here you as unique my own self atma bandhus imagine and uh, and uh, speaking truth these two things have got direct connection with the health and the diseases this you experiment i am only proposing here see tensions anxieties worries what happens here the moment you are you are tensed you you, you are uh, having anxiety or worry your heart rate will increase thereby bp rate will increase thereby the natural functioning of the organs will be disturbed pancreatic uh, gland will not produce as much insulin as it is required so what happens the person will be stamped as a diabetic very simple so that is the effect of the anger similarly truthfulness are speaking false 
if i speak false immediately you catch you do this experiment all of you and make this as a propaganda in this uh, in this uh, for human transformation if anybody any human being speaks lies heart beating will increase bp will increase and uh, diabetic pancreatic will not produce insulin thereby diabetes all other diseases because of the anger because of speaking false you take this as an experiment come back tomorrow and uh, at the end of this week right the next one uh, now uh, let us all do an activity sheet okay evaluate your own health condition okay are you fully health healthy without any tablet hats off to you you are a healthy person may god bless you you are a blessed soul if any any of you are taking some sort of a pill what pill you are taking why you are taking you make a uh, tablet form you keep it with you it is your personal we are not asking you examine on yourself you conduct this experiment on yourself that number one column number one evaluation of your own health in that evaluation of your own health are you taking any tablet if you are taking what sort of a tablet what sort of a treatment what sort of a diagnosis then next column what sort of a uh, disease then are there any other alternative diseases alternative therapies for this you examine and evaluate you will come back so this is all small sort of an experiment and this is where now i am appealing to all of you the whole of the humanity the whole of the us and indians are i am very much painful indians statistics i am talking 40 years people 4 out of 10 are having diabetes pp problems health problems less than 40 years and we will also do an exercise according to the age what is the age group that they are having diabetes we came to know that even school going children are taking insulin my dear friends the humanity is going like this what is the solution you can offer just i am throwing this open to all of you my dear friends there is a great amount of ignorance there is a great amount of uh, medical or pharma mafia going on across on the humanity okay and uh, there is a great amount of uh, ignorance though we are all so well educated so we will all examine that is the purpose of this uh, conducting this specially abridged course for you blessed my souls we will come back to that right amma next anna right anna next anna ha ah, okay diagnosis is another thing everywhere in this medical mafia you go everybody will write a lot of description you you go this examination you go that examination for you americans uh, in your own systems every year there is a diagnosis test there is a test. in every diagnosis something or the other is find fault and there is a number for that and if you get 100 uh, the bp 100 by 20 uh, 80 you are uh, good anything beyond that 180 you are bp you are diabetes who is fixing this number that makes all the difference okay here i am living as an example i have been termed as a diabetes okay i fought with the systems i got up and i do not take even a single tablet for 6 years after that i got a heart attack and then i was forced by my children that you please do whatever you want but you please for the sake i succumbed because i cannot say but i have got a conviction that now i have got several other diseases like my throat uh, throat cough vocal cords are worn out i am not supposed to speak like this okay i am prepared to die out of this cause no problem but now i found out a way how to repair my vocal cords and i am able to repair that 
I hope uh, I have also been uh, de decided by the uh, orthopedic surgeon and my people that uh, my knee uh, has to be replaced. I took one month time. I got repaired. I run. I do two hours of walking, two hours of exercise today also. I got rid of it. So I am doing an experimentation on myself. Though age-related diseases will come, still we can conquer out of all of that. And this is what all of the humanity can do: come out of these diseases and diagnoses and uh, uh, medical mafia. That is what is a health movement. This whole of the universe needs, my dear friends. And now, while ending this. Here I am taking you to our naturopathy, our sahaja sadhana vidhanam of our great ancient rusis who prescribed you need not go into diagnosis. You see, if your face is glowing, good glow is there in your face means no diseases. If your eyes are bright means no diseases. If your nails are red. Okay, the doctors will do like this. Okay, if blood is coming, if you are pressing, means you are hale and healthy. If you are passing urine white without any smell, you are uh, you are healthy. If your gases are not having bad smell, you are healthy. If your gases are uh, smelling, giving smelling, means something wrong with the stomach. Stomach is the root cause of all diseases. So I can know about myself every day in my day-to-day -day living. Where is the question of this whole lot of diagnoses? Understand, and this is what we have to take it to the whole of the humanity, my dear friends. This is what with you each one of your hell. Now we can integrate our yoga system, samyama, patanjali, all that. Not only that, each one of your experiences in physical dimension. This is what I want to give you as an assignment. I am repeating, closing, that each one of you in the physical conscious living with the six elements of breathing, drinking water, taking food, doing exercise, taking sleep, and execution. These six things up to 27 you experiment on yourself how each dimension is giving you physical fitness and thereby you diagnose whether your face is glow uh, urine is uh, white uh, gases without smell all this up to 27th you do it you come back with your own experiences then we will further talk on this health moment what human transformation at a physical conscious living uh, is there right? Oh, uh, right, Samaka Ramaka. Next, next point with next, right? Ma, next, Nana, right? Time is up. I don't want to come on. Here are the ways and means, my dear friends. Most of the people are diagnosed that vitamin D deficiency, vitamin B12 deficiency, vitamin that this B complex deficiency. Our rishis lived and prescribed how we came out of this COVID. It is because of our home remedies. It is because of our yoga kriyas. It is because of our pranayama. Like that, he, if you spend some time in the sun, vitamin D is not required. If you take uh, uh, rice, curd rice, uh, fermented curd rice, if you keep it in the night and take it in the morning, which in our olden days, in agri agricultural day, uh, families, we used to have sadhi annamu, in Telugu we call it as uh, uh, last night uh, curd rice. It will have plenty of B12, my dear friends. So, the, the, the people, intelligent people, they do not believe this. They do not carry practice in their own life. They prefer to take in pills, etc. Having diseases, who can help them? So, this is what is the knowledge. Can we take it to the, into the humanity and help this uh, uh, human transformative model, my dear friends? I am today talking only at the physical dimension of the humanity. Tomorrow we will talk about the mental dimensions of the humanity. Right, right. Um, next, Nana, the Ramakam. Uh, here, 
my gurus is the inspiration for all of the india and the universe he prescribes that youth needs iron like muscles iron like muscles steel like nerves diamond like mind if you are physically present i will ask come on check up my hand i will i will take uh, uh, your karate thing you will find this principle i got it into my life as a fan of swami vivekananda i am called i have made four years of exercises my i am called by my principal at the school level that iron man of the school viveka vardhani okay and that is what i take a promise in offline classes now i am i want to take a promise from each one of you you are my dear friends you are my own self friends whatever may be your age whatever it is, still we can come back we can arrest aging i am the example forget that age it is only the mental perception we will deal tomorrow and at this age in our ayurveda we have got pancha karma pancha karma where this gray hair becomes normal hair bald hair becomes normal okay so all these things are possible we will study and we will talk all that now i am closing taking a promise from you in your physical consciousness for your abdo for your own individual development for your own individual success and happiness this single wheel is the health can you all please promise me that health consciously six elements pranayama doing pranayama drinking more water i am taking a balanced nutritious vegetarian food and third thing doing every day exercise every day exercise even today i spend four hours on this okay so exercise execution and rest i want a small promise i don't want guru dakshina by means of money dollars no i want you are heartful we understood the importance that dharmaartha kama moksha nam aarogyam moolam uttamam i want a small word from you your own impressions please at least the two three people if you can talk i will feel my purpose of this my strain vocal cords is done हेलो गुरुजी सविता सविता नमस्कार थैंक यू फॉर कमिंग फॉर एक्सेलेंट एक्सेलेंट सेशन या आई थिंक वी नीड टू एंड इन एवरीडे बिजी लाइफ वी नीड टू पुट फिजिकल व्हिच व्हिच इन टर्न टॉक्स टू द मेंटल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट इट्स द नोइंग दैट दिस इज राइट एंड डूइंग is the is the question that dwandwa i think we need to come we need to um, not question too much and actually just just do it kind of a thing yeah thank you thank you madam thank you suta ji may god bless you ah uh, two three others who are going to take chance please let us be true to ourselves let us make uh, inspire others also by means of our own sharings please come forward Yeah, I'll I'll go next, Guru Ji. Yeah, I will. I know that I will definitely practice all that you have shared with us today, and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, because I'm I I do feel I don't do in a pattern. I just do random stuff. But this week I'm going Fantastic. to focus on all the aspects. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next, please. And um, Akari Guru, so beautifully laid out with the health of the foundation. You know, from my own experience. if i have any important task to achieve i actually increase my exercise routine you know, because i think this wiring needs to happen as you said in india sometimes what happens is when we become busy this is the exercise is the one that compromises but the the way is is actually the other way around the more important things that you need to do the more exercise that you need to get so that your body is capable that's what i fantastic really, fantastic may god bless you yes other sir please alumni don't leave with this chance this is one thing i want from all of you others yeah acharya i i will commit to more better routine and regularity fantastic ramakant right next hope oh i will also commit for regular pranayama and uh, walking in my routine 
Amitabh, thank you. Thank you, Bapu. Thank you. Good. Others hiding here also? No, no. I will. I will work on the smiling part of it. Uh, thanks to Ramakanji, I am doing a little bit of <laughs> yoga every day. I am getting chance to do that. But I'll work on the prana, uh, the, the smiling part of it. Fantastic. Yes. I will continue to sustain uh, the routine what I'm doing, and if any chance possible, whenever I get, do extra. Like Sunni mentioned, Sunni mentioned, like you know, when you're stressed, you need to work out more. <laughs> Thank you, Diraj. Right, Amma. Next, please. Acharya, I will be more regular uh, uh, in my practices. So I think just for me to be regular, uh, uh, we we follow the uh, Acharana Pracharana Niyamam, right? So uh, previously, uh, you know, I practiced for 15 days and then started yoga course in my house. All my neighbors joined. So we have done three to four courses, uh, each lasting for 21 days. Um, so even as a part of the uh, HOMA demonstration and performance, uh, we will include health as one aspect, Acharya. Uh, Thank, so you, Rama. Thank you, Narottam. Thank you, Narottam. I still remember where uh, head to toe exercises you have been doing and making everybody to do head to toe exercises. Uh, now I don't have time. Maybe next time. You can demonstrate online also. Is it possible? I don't know. But just I'm sharing my thoughts. Lastly, two points I want to share with each one of you. We do everything for others. Catch me. We do everything for others. Say family, society, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But doing to our own self, particularly physical fitness, is the ultimate key for success and happiness and whatever blah, blah, blah you are doing. That is number one. Number two, my dear friends, this whole of the efforts, what God's help is doing is for your own self. That much you understand. Do the all assignments, experiment and do it and come back with your experiences tomorrow and all the sessions till 27. This program is different. It is a, it's a compositions, it's a content, contents, it's a, assignments. Everything goes from your heart and mind to soul to whole of the humanity. You please compile all that and Ramakant will coordinate further. Thank you very much. And I'm, I'm, I'm available as a, your servant anytime, lifelong. May God bless you. Thank you. Lead in the year, lead in the year, lead in the year. Abdo, Deshkopadao. Individual development leads to national development, human development. Thank you. Ketama, next Jana. I think we can close it up here. Thank you, sure, one sure. and all. Sure, sure. Any other uh, slides you want to talk about? That was the last slide. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, since you have told my individual health is related with my family health. In my family, if anybody is sick, whole family is sick. Then uh, the, the community, COVID, we have seen whole of the universe is affected. So individual health leads to family, national, and the humanity. Thank you. Right next to Ma. That's why we now we call it as human transformative model. Right. Thank you, Nana. Ab bado desh ko bado. My God bless all of Closing yes, thought. Yes, please. The way, the way you shared, you appear to all of us like Sage Patanjali. And, and the way the Sage Patanjali, the first Yoga Sutra, he basically says, Atta Yoga Anushasana. Basically, it's like uh -huh. every main, make this as a daily discipline, not as something that if somebody tells you, but Anushasana, something that you impose on yourself as a discipline. And the way you basically said is, is like exercise and, and the health as your own discipline. It's almost like, you know, Sage Patanjali come in front of us as, uh, as in the form of uh, leading the foundation at this, at this, in this session. So thank you for, for blessing us with, uh, with, your, uh, with your knowledge and wisdom and, uh, and for being one of us.
Namaskar. Thank you. Thank you, Srinidhi. I wish to have your own great. I want to share with all of you. Srinidhi Gurupu is a great yoga master. He is doing great, great amount of service and whatever experiences he is getting, all that he wants to transform to whole of the human humanity. That is how uh, ten YEC has come into the collaboration with the Lead India Foundation. Next session, uh, Srinidhi Gurupu Karu. We want to uh, start with. Uh, uh you are uh, inspiration and experiences to the uh, this group uh, for 10 minutes then uh, everybody will be sharing their own experiences on these today's assignment and uh, we will go forward and uh, i will uh, uh, all other uh, ramakant also is a yoga master narottam is also a yoga master all of you take some chances uh, uh, in our sessions like this thank you hari om lead india may god bless you lead india lead india lead india. So one of the reflective sheet i will uh, share it in the chat acharya today and uh, okay. any others who are not on this uh, on, not on the whatsapp group please let me know right away i think i am assuming that all of you are on the whatsapp group we have invited all of you vinita uh, ji i saw your name i am not sure um, i forgot or if you are already on that is great uh, and tomorrow the same time 9:30 central that is nothing but uh, 7:30 Uh, PST and 10:30 Eastern Time. He'll join again. And look Everybody forward for uh, opens up their videos. Maybe I can take one uh, group picture. Yeah, that's a great yeah, idea. Just one yeah, question, yes. though. Go ahead, Acharya. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. So no, no, one no, no, question please. is: uh, Do we need a forcing function uh, from the program itself for us to practice the six dharmas? uh we can put up a survey sheet and have like dates uh at least for next one week 10 days if you are able to do uh, follow all of the six dharmas and log it every day would that help <laughs> excellent idea narottam <laughs> yeah I, i i appeal to each one of you my dear young friends uh, i consider each one of you are my own self na atmal guru you are all my own self my dear friends my own friends relatives or whatever friend, close friends whatever way you take it but for me you are myself number 1 number 2 the whole of the, the need for the humanity is to make them understand themselves their own inner dimensions and dimension wise today we have dealt physical component in this physical component being smiling and open mind being truthful being a, a positive to six uh, air water uh, each one is a unique component that you whole humanity we need to take it so please uh, uh, put the formats and use the technology how you can put it on the net sharing each one of your experience today to 27th 27th to next building up this model i don't know this technology i am only sharing pouring whatever god has given me you are my hope you are my nation and the whole of the humanity i leave it to you all of you my dear friends please think how all that uh, excellent narottam like that uh, all of you talk in between discuss in between take time and uh, see what sort of a uh, formats we can do in fact i uh, shared with uh, uh, ramakant that we may have a pre training program sheet taking your feedback and concluding day concluding uh, feedback that itself uh, will give us a scientific uh, your own expressions uh, that it happened in you Uh, anyway that has uh, some way got uh, uh, lost uh, at least now you got my heart and soul you take it forward you conduct all that further thank you nana may god bless you beta raman le rakshamam 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 may god bless you thank you i leave it to all just to just to reiterate again yeah, we will, we are meeting again tomorrow morning the same time 9:30 central lead in here om purnamada shanti pad please om
ಅಧ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ರಾಮಾನದ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ ಸರ್ವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಾರ್ಪಣ ರಕ್ಷಮಾ ರಕ್ಷಮಾ ಮೇ ಗಾಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಬೇಟ ರಾಮಾನಿದೆ ರಾಮಾನಿದೆ ಹೇ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಮೇ ಗಾಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಯು ರಕ್ಷಮಾ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಮೀರು ಓಂ ಚಾಂಟ್ ಚೇಸ್ತುಂಡಪ್ಪುಡು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿವರ್ಬರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ವೇ ಯುವರ್ ಓಂ ಅಂಟೇ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರಿವರ್ಬರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಮೇಬಿ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಇಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಓಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದ ದ ವೇ ಯು ಚಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ರಿವರ್ಬರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಪರ್ಹಾಪ್ಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿತ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓನ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ God's grace. May God bless you. I don't know anything. Thank you. you. May God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Ramachandra. May God bless you. Uh, to share with that Srini, it is not mine. It is not mine. Uh, it is all great Rishis. They have done great amount of research. It is only our endure to... Oh, read, catch, own and lead our lives to the whole of the humanity for Loka, Samastha, Sukhino. May God bless you. Thank you. Hey, Ramachandra. ರಾಮಾನ ದಯ ತಂದೆ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಹೇ ರಾಮ ರಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷಕ್ಷ
ಹೇ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ರಾಮಾನ ಮೇ ಗಾಡ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ರಾಮಾನ ಇದೆ ನಾ ತಂಡಿ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ರಾಮ 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 ತಂದೆ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಅಚ್ಚಾ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೆಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಏ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಅಚ್ಚಾನೆ ರಾಮ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ರಕ್ಷಮ ರಾಮುಡು ರಕ್ಷ ಕುಂಡದ ಗುಲಾಮನೆ ನಮ್ಮನ ಬಂಧನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇವಿ ಭಯಂದು ಈಗ ಜಾಬಿಗೆ ರೋಮ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ
Ramana, 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 Ramana,